Good evening. It is time to unwind. Today I'm going to show you my summer nighttime routine. I hope this video will give you inspiration for your own relaxing and grounding nighttime routine. My nighttime routine starts after I finish my day-to-day -day tasks and work, which is usually around 6 p.m. The first thing that I like to do is check my planner and I use this Supplied by Lily Lifestyle Desk Planner Grande which is a planner for my own stationery collection that I just released. It's honestly so practical and I cannot live without it. And I love this new beautiful luxurious Yashma marble print as well as the fact that it is a bit bigger than the previous version. It's honestly great if you're either a student or a young professional like me. I check my to-dos and cross off everything that I did as well as plan out my next day and week. After that, I also like to check my phone. I love connecting with you guys on my Instagram. I pretty much post there daily. So I would love it if you would follow me over there as well. My username is lilylightcom. And I'm also really active over on TikTok and my username there is Lilia Kazakova. And I post lots of videos about interior as well as rollerblading. And speaking of rollerblading, the next thing that I like to do in my nighttime routine is something fun and healthy, which is rollerblading. I made a whole video about this that I will link in the description box down below, but I recently started on this rollerblading journey because I wasn't able to figure skate because all the rings were closed, and it's been so much fun learning a new sport, and I would highly recommend it to anyone. So I changed into my workout clothes and get ready to go to the park because I like to rollerblade there. After I finish my rollerblading session, I get home and I'm usually quite hungry around this time. So it's time to make myself some dinner. Today I decided to make this very yummy heirloom tomato and zucchini pasta, which is a great meal for a hot summer night. I first dice two zucchinis and grill them on a skillet with some olive oil and different Italian herbs such as oregano and thyme. Then I cut up some garlic and add it to the mix as well. For the sauce, I'm going to use heirloom tomatoes, which is my new obsession. I'm not sure if this is an American thing, but I've never seen these heirloom tomatoes when I was still living in the Netherlands, and they honestly taste so good. I cut them up and put them in my kitchen processor with some herbs, garlic, and basil. This is honestly such an easy way to create your own tomato sauce, and it's also really healthy and yummy. Side. 
For my pasta, I'm using this organic brown rice and quinoa fusilli pasta. While my pasta is cooking, I add the heirloom tomato sauce to my zucchini as well as some extra cherry tomatoes that I cut up as well. When the pasta is done, I add it to the skillet and transfer the pasta to a bowl. I top it up with some pine nuts, parmigiano reggiano, and some basil leaves. And then I'm ready to enjoy my dinner. I love watching a series while I'm eating my dinner, and right now I've been re-watching my favorite anime, which is Death Note. If you're into dark psychological thrillers that really make you question things on a philosophical level, this anime is definitely for you. It gives its viewer a very interesting dilemma about morality and ethics and whether a good goal or end justifies the usage of any means, like Machiavelli would say, or whether there are some means that are just simply innately bad. After finishing my dinner, I like to do some cleaning. A lot of you always ask me how I keep my apartment so clean and the method that I use for this is the 10 minute cleaning method. Every morning and every night, I set a timer for 10 minutes and those 10 minutes are solely dedicated to cleaning. I load my dishwasher, clean my countertops and vacuum clean. I always seem to My headache stays the same After I finish cleaning, it is time to set a relaxing mood, so I love to turn on all my favorite scented candles. To me. What the hell does that mean? Oh, confiscating your love was the best thing that I could have done. You settle down. I also like to give myself a yummy drink and now that it's really hot I've been enjoying drinking a refreshing pressed coconut juice which is great for late summer nights. I then grab a light blanket and make myself comfortable on the couch to do some reading. I've been reading this really interesting Japanese novel that is called If Cats Disappeared from the World which is the first novel from Takashi Hiraide. Sorry if I'm butchering the name. And it's a New York Times bestseller. And I've been reading it in Dutch to feel a little bit less homesick with everything that is going on in the world. That's what you do. I've been thinking. Now you're with him. What does he mean to you? After reading my book, the next thing that I like to do is write in my diary. I try to write in my diary twice a day because it really helps me reflect and process everything that happened to me that day. I use my Supplied by Lily classic notebook in this beautiful, luxurious astrology print. This notebook is part of my stationery collection and if you're interested in picking it up as well, you can shop it at SupplyedbyLily.com. We ship internationally and I'm also really excited to announce that I'm working on some new stationery to be launched very soon, so stay tuned for that. After I finish writing in my diary, I usually crave a snack. So I decided to go for some chocolate covered strawberries and bananas. These are honestly so good, I've been totally obsessed with them. Now it is time to really relax and unwind because I like to give myself a very fancy and luxurious bath 
These uncertain times that we're currently in can induce all sorts of emotion and can really make us feel anxious, sad, or lonely. That's why I think it's so important to be gentle with yourself, a little reward or a moment of peace every night. Whenever you take care of your body, soul and mind, you'll be able to find more joy and happiness in your life, which will boost your productivity and motivation. Find a way to relax, whether it is taking a bath, reading your favorite book, or spending time with friends and family, even if it's just virtually. Whatever you need to find comfort, make sure you always make time for that. After I'm done with my bath, I put on my cozy bathrobe, brush my teeth, and start with my skincare routine. My skincare routine is really a moment of peace, and I really enjoy taking the time to take care of my skin every night. After my skincare routine, I put on my PJs and moisturize my body. And then it's time to go to bed. I usually finish watching a series or do some more reading. And when I'm getting tired, I turn off the light and it's time to sleep. guys with that we made it to the end of my summer nighttime routine for 2020 and i really hope you enjoyed it i really want this video to give you some peace of mind some calmness and relaxation because with everything that is going on right now in the world i think we can all use it if any of the habits that i do spoke to you in my nighttime routine please let me know in the comments down below i would love to read what you have added to your nighttime routine based on this video also if you would like to stay in touch with me chit chat with me um, just keep up to date with my daily life it would be amazing if you could join me on my instagram my username is lily.com and i pretty much post there daily i'm also really active over on tiktok my username there is lilia kazakova and i post a lot about interior decorating as well as rollerblading because as you can tell from this video i'm really into my rollerblading i know that i'm a little bit on the late end of the summer when it comes to posting this video but if you guys would also be interested in seeing a fall morning routine then please thumbs up this video and if we hit the 5k likes I will post that video for you as always and last but not least it would be amazing if you could join and subscribe to our youtube family here i honestly cannot believe how many of you guys already are following me for so many years of my life because i've been on youtube for quite some years i really hope that at some point we'll be able to hit the 1 million subscribers so if you want to help me reach my goal it would mean so much to me if you could subscribe and with that being said, I'm going to wish you a beautiful night if you're watching this at night or day if it is day when you're watching this. And I'll talk to you very, very soon in a new video. Bye, guys.